What to do guys? It is Saturday, Mashuja Day weekend, which means it's a long weekend for us Kenyans. So, party after party. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of energy. It's weird, right? Like if someone called me up right now, told me we do that, we'll probably do that. But no, don't do it because I'm just saying it. <laughs> anyway, um, in all of this, I've just I've just been thinking about the events that have been happening in my life. What's been happening in life? What's happening in your life? Who is your hero? My hero is um, my mom. You know, my grandma, the strongest women in my life. Um, you know, I've grown up just seeing their strength and just like. You know, just using them as my pillars of strength, you know, and then I just look up to them and they're my heroes. So who is your hero? Anyway, um, so other than that, I've just been thinking a lot about just where I'm at in my life, where I'm at with my relationship with God, just just where I am in general. And, and, and um, I realize that like talking about God makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Like, it genuinely makes people uncomfortable. And it makes you uncomfortable based on where you are with God. You know, like, for me, let me say it like this, right? Um, you know that time in church when you're sitting and, and the pastor is asking, like, who is ready to make that decision? Who is ready to choose God? And you, you're not there, by the way. Yo, in fact, maybe you were doing like that night. You had, like, you were drunk. <laughs> you're still drunk at that moment and you're just there, like, hiding. Like, whoa, this is heavy. I wasn't ready for this, right? Um, but when it's that moment of, you know, prosper, receive, you're going to get money, you're going to get this, yes, in Jesus' name, people are like, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. But all of this really made me think about all of it. Like, even me in that position, because for one thing that I've always known, is God has always been, like, the ultimate plan. And in my scheme of plan of things, scheme of things, God has been my plan. And for me, to be honest, before I made this decision, it, there were a lot of things that I was battling with and that I'm still battling with even now that I've chosen God, right? And I was like, how am I going to be able to manage to give up these things? Like, you know, like, how? Then you realize that Christ gave his life for me. So, yeah. <laughs> when you really think about it in the scheme of things, yeah. Um, so, but it's a battle, it's a, you, you, there's, no one was born walking, you know, you're gonna stumble and fall, stumble, 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 and eventually you're gonna stand, and you're gonna walk, and that's just what it is in, just in life in general, but I realized that, like, even in the Bible, when you, when you read the story about, um, Adam and Eve, and once Adam and Eve ate the fruit, and how they hid from Christ, you know, when God came, not from Christ, but from God, but when God came and, and came and asked Adam and Eve, where are you, and, but they were hiding, they were hiding their nakedness, and they're like, you know, like, God, we're hiding because we're naked, so that's the thing that we do now, we hide from God because we know the things that we've done, the bad things that we've done. We run away from those friends, those family members that want to talk to you about God, that are asking you, what is your relationship with God? What is your relationship with Christ? Are you going to church? And the thing is, church doesn't mean, like, you know, there's some churches, yeah, that are in the opposite direction. But church is the body of Christ. And that's why we have a church where two or more are gathered God is there. People meet in the homes and everything, but this is this is the one place that has been dedicated to God. And that's why it's so important for someone to find just a church that fills their heart like with the spiritual food that it needs. Because man shall not live on bread alone. Look at me. Woo Lord. <laughs> it makes me feel good to see how far that I've come. But for the people, because I, I talked to someone the other day someone who's really close to me and i keep on asking them about like you know why why haven't you come to church why aren't you coming to church and and you know they're in that place of i'm figuring it out i'm doing it on my own but it, it went as far as them telling me that i made them feel bad about themselves because i asked them you know to come to church or why they're not coming to church and again and my answer was i'm not making you feel bad it's you it's that guilt it's that shame that is making you run away from god but god is there open arms like come to me baby i'm here to love you so guys like 
this is my job this is my duty if i know you and i love you and i genuinely love you and i'm definitely and i'm there it is my responsibility to tell you about god it is my responsibility to ask you about your wish but ugh, the relationship i was gonna say responsibility and relationship at the same time with god it is my responsibility because i know that i'm growing i am not perfect but at the same time it gives me such relief i sleep so much better at night knowing that i am consciously trying to make the better choices in life and i am consciously living my life for god for christ like that is something that i really have aspired to do for a really long time and it's not easy and i'm not there i'm not like where i want to be but i'm somewhere better than where i was yesterday and, there, and like a year ago and two years before that i'm at such a good place and i want that for you as well you know so yeah that's enough for me for today but i just i just wanted to speak my heart just like this i've really been thinking about this um and i just want to say that i love all of you and i appreciate you for everything for joining me on this journey because it's just like something it's something and i love sharing it with you guys so thank you for watching thank you for being here i appreciate you Keep it love